came up from Humboldt, where there's a lot of forest defense still going on. They're still clear cutting a lot of old growth redwoods. Um, Humboldt right now is being cut by um, different lumber companies taking old growth redwoods and Douglas fir. There's also actions all the way up and down the west coast. I have been tree sitting for about I think two and a half years, something like that. I really don't keep track of time anymore. Um, my current role as a tree sitter is primarily um, trainer, sitter, setter. I set things, I set villages, platforms, dream catchers, traverses, so people can live comfortably in trees. We'd never officially asked, but they came by, or people came by, and they, they thought it was good. They liked it. We've been being extra super safe. My baby. There we go. Prussics. I need Prussics. I got some for you. Okay. As a community outreach, tree sitting is very successful. We've trained so far probably, well we've trained several dozen people. What we're trying to do is get people interested and motivated and hopefully eager to go to either Humboldt County, Oregon, or other places that have forest defense issues going on. We're really, really grateful to the General Council and to the Forest Service for allowing this to go on. Very too good to stop by tonight because we are gonna oh, we are gonna play music in Jerusalem tonight. Because this is the place that saved my life 15 years ago. This is the place that told me that there were other possibilities in the world. And this is where the models that such things can be actually exist. So this is where I came. I come here to be in the forest, hear these birds, and that while I'm looking at all the beautiful faces, there's all the green surrounding the mountains. This is a place where God gets a lot of work done because this is an awesome place that when you put a lot of people together with open hearts and good spirits, he can channel a lot of stuff that otherwise in the middle of February, in the winter of Minnesota, you're not so attuned to receiving. But here you can receive it. Even if you didn't know it was here and that you didn't know you were missing it and you didn't know you needed it. That happens here people's lives are transformed.
Um, these guys started, I don't know how long ago, I, they cook pancakes from early, as early as you wake up, as early as the birds. When, it, when the birds start, that's why it's called early bird. It's not only free, it's the best organic, vegetarian, yummiest, all naturally cooked in the woods, as early and as much as you can eat pancakes with love as main ingredient. I'm a partner yoga teacher, my name's Bill Walling, and this is my first rainbow experience, it's been wonderful. And uh, I, I've uh, been sharing uh, my gifts with people here, I'm a mountain biker and I can help people fix their bikes, and I'm a guitar player, I've been jamming with people a lot. And, uh, I, uh, I'm a member of the Scroll community down in San Diego, that the rainbow community down there, and so I've been wanting to come here. And Everybody's doing this great. Look here, we got a yo lo lotus. Three lotuses. These guys are advanced. They're just right on it. <laughs> So I, I've come here to uh, pray in the Cathedral of Nature because this is the only religion I have. If it, what, I mean, if I thought that out there that was all that there was, I mean, I would despair. I would want to take my life, you know. And when I'm out there, I just know that, well, there's something better, you know, and, and I can wait and I can experience in, in something better. But what are all these people going to do to pull together to make the new way happen because I think we don't need to lift a finger to uh, destroy Western civilization. It's going to fall under its own weight, just like communism did. And uh, the difference is, is that when communism fell, the United States of America bailed them out. But when the United States falls, the United States of America is not going to bail it out, itself out. You know, the Rainbow Family is going to have to do it. Uh, what makes me come? Oh, this is family. This is the essence of what life is supposed to be. When we get together as a community and we work through the good, the bad, everything, you know? We go through emotions, people go through hard times, good times. There's brothers and sisters who've been hurt, brothers and sisters who have things to work out that they're trying to find a way. And sometimes just a little hint of something from somebody will help answer all that they're looking for. And I appreciate that. This is one place that I think does more healing than anywhere in Babylon can handle. In Babylon they, yeah, put up their prisons and feed us a lot of what we're supposed to do and be and whatnot. And I'm not sure who made those rules, so I don't like to play that game. So the law, the law is part of the game. And you know, if you're in the middle of a game, and as we are in Empire, you have to know how to play. It's like Monopoly, you know. Um, you may not have all the hotels, but you still can play the game. Um, Rainbow gives us some tools so that we can still play the game and then come back and learn what our hearts are like. So we can do that and then not forget who we are. <laughs>